We're going to look at the principles of design, in this case, gradation. So the changing of one element to another. So we'll start off here uh, with the first one, which is gradation of shapes here. So you can actually subtly suggest the gradation of shapes. Now in this case here, we've got a variety of colors uh, going on. So you got to ignore the colors here. So let me make it a little bit simpler and convert it to a grayscale. So we can just kind of take a, a quick look at it. So we've got a rectangle that slowly transitions into uh, a new shape, an elliptical shape here. So something like this could be a, a way to move uh, the viewer across there. In this case, we have a variety of bright colors there. So the colors aren't really helping move the eye. But remember that uh, rectangles or square shapes add uh, solidity to it, will attract attention, but uh, curved shapes will actually move the eye here. So in this case here, if we were to actually take this and convert it, uh, get rid of all the saturation, for example, okay, we might be able to, uh, we're losing the one value there, but we might be able to see that gradation a little bit easier here. So in this case here, shape is gradating, but uh, it's a little bit difficult to see. This is gradation of line here. So on the left-hand side, we see a straight line and it slowly gradates or changes into a curved line. So it's much more subtle here. So you can apply the principle of contrast here. So we've got medium contrast, white and a reddish color here to uh, make it pop a little bit, but this could be a very subtle, subtle effect. You might not even notice it unless you are paying close attention. So that's gradation of line. The next one is gradation of size. So we've got large size going, reducing down by 10% increments. So it's reducing down and shrinking, and it almost creates the illusion of, of a wall like rotating or turning. But this will be another way, take an element and use the principle of gradation of size to reduce it to move the viewer, uh, viewer's eye across. The next one is the gradation of direction. So we start here with a vertical direction. And as we move across here with the various colors, we're moving into a more angular direction there. So that's the absence of shapes there. We're just kind of using uh, gradation of direction. Uh, the colors are designed there to actually move the eye also. If we change this to grayscale, um, it would also still work. So going from light to dark, okay? but it's the gradation of direction, a little bit more subtle. This is gradation of texture. So basically it's going from a soft texture to a hard texture. In this case, leveraging the principle of blur. So if we look at this brick wall here, so the blur creates a softer texture. You could increase the blur there to make it completely like fuzzy and soft, and then focusing in more on the hard texture. So that's gradation of texture. Obviously, as we move into color, we have gradation of color. That's one color transitioning to another. Uh, using color theory, we can go from hot to cold, from light chroma to dark chroma, uh, analogous, complementary. There's all kinds of color theories that can be applied, but gradation of color is just changing of one color to the next. And then lastly, the gradation of value. So as value transitions from light to dark, it could also can be used to create some various effects here. So in this case here, we can see that uh, we've got light to dark it creates kind of this pyramid type of shape and if we invert it uh, we've got kind of a different kind of feel now in this case here the where, where dark is is uh, predominant we kind of go to the light right so we're like looking down a hallway whereas the other way around it creates much more of a pyramid type of effect um, where it might be outside looking in anyways the principle here is you can gradiate value from one uh, value to the next. So that's the principle of gradation. It becomes a much more subtle uh, principle. And we will uh, apply also alternation and repetition to, which is a little bit more about patterns in gradation uh, to this principle. But that's all for now.